okay in this uh, how to divide the cone area into four equal parts here the length i have taken 76.12 and the angle it is 142 degree so here uh, first i'll be measuring the length of 76.16 from that corner i'll be cutting the arc the first arc and the second arc i'm cutting from that uh, there again the length is it is same 76.16 okay okay so it's not cutting so by using extend command i will explain the extend the one of the one of the arc so now we are getting the intersection of point of this now i'll be drawing a line from the midpoint to this intersection point this is how we divide the cone area into two equal part okay now i'll be drawing a parallel line you can see there a parallel symbol will appear just to touch back and bring it so that that is a symbol for parallel okay okay now the same way i'm going to divide this uh, cone area you were divided into two part now i am going to divide into four part again so go to again arc by center and here you have to take the same length here 76.16 76.16 you have to take and cut the arc from this end okay take from the intersection of there and take the radius 76.16 enter cut the arc okay the same way we can do it uh, in this side also and the radius will be remain same 76.16 cut the arc okay again from this end also you take the length of 76.16 and cut the arc okay now we have divided this cone area into four equal part you can see from this end i'm going to join to this intersection point here okay the same way i'm going to do it join this intersection point also okay okay now we have divided now using the trim command the unnecessary things i'm going to delete it okay so that we can clearly able to see how it is divided into four equal part okay so you can see then now i just check the angle for as a reference so it is equally divided into 35 degree you can show it for another two sides here so this is by using sketch method you can divide the cone area into equal parts you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited and this is the reference for one of the problem in a cone problem so we'll take this as reference for doing that problem okay so thank you all for watching the video so this completes the problem